This video is specifically designed for evaluating mission outcomes and scores. It is not to be used to set up the field. For the official field setup, please refer to the field setup guide or video. The Wellness Wave Challenge is a physical robotics competition. The teams bring their own robot designed and built with Quirky to complete various interactive challenges. Track 2 of Codever 7.0 International helps participants develop 21st century skills like coding, robotics concept, engineering skills, artificial intelligence, strategic planning, and real-world problem solving. In the Health and Wellness Wave AI Robot Challenge, your robot will support the people of Reveris by promoting good health, improving well-being, and creating a healthier community for all. There are eight challenges and they can be attempted in any order. You will be scored on all the challenges that your team attempts in a round. The challenges can be attended either in autonomous or in manual mode. Your team can double the score for the same challenge if attended autonomously. Equipment Inspection Your robot size in its contracted configuration must not exceed 20 by 20 by 20 cm and weigh no more than a maximum of 1 kg. Your robot must be battery operated at a time of competition and voltage must not exceed 5 volts between any terminals of the robot. At the beginning of the round, your robot must be completely inside the home point. The team can start the robot from either home point. Challenge 1 Yoga A public yoga demonstration has been organized on Reverest Island to inspire citizens to embrace a balanced and healthy lifestyle. Your task is to use your robot to change yoga posture of Rolliver from Birbhadrasan to Trikonasan. If the Rolliver's hand is touching the leg, you get full score. Challenge 2 Mosquito Prevention To fight mosquito borne diseases on Reverest Island, eco friendly mosquito fish are released into local waters. They naturally control mosquito larvae and help protect public health. Your task is to open aquarium valve and release the mosquito fish into the lake. If both the fish are dropped from the fish tank, you get full score. If any one out of two fish is successfully dropped from the fish tank, you get half score. Challenge 3 Organizing Marathoner The mayor of Reverest Island has organized a marathon from Yoga Garden to the Lighthouse, celebrating strength, unity, and resilience while ensuring safety by keeping the vehicles off the road. Your task is to place the traffic cone at drop point to block vehicle entry onto the marathon track. You can load the traffic cone from the home point before or after game start. If a traffic cone is placed completely inside the drop point, you get full score. If a traffic cone is placed partially outside the drop point, you get half score. If a traffic cone is fully or partially inside the drop point but has fallen over, you get half score. Note, both the traffic cone will be scored individually in a challenge. If both the traffic cones are placed completely inside the drop point and standing upright, you get bonus point. Challenge 4 Staying Hydrated With hundreds running the marathon, fresh coconut water is needed at the finish line to hydrate and restore energy for all participants. Your task is to use your robot to collect coconuts from the coconut tree and deliver them to the refreshment stalls near the marathon's finishing line. If the coconut cube is completely inside the drop point, you get full score. If the coconut cube is only partially inside the drop point, you get half score. Note, judgment will be based on the cube faces only. The ring on the water cube will be ignored by judging. Challenge 5 Snake Bite Rescue Reverest Island's dense northeast forest attracts adventure lovers, but venomous snakes pose a hidden danger. A hiker bitten during a trek urgently needs anti-venom to prevent life-threatening harm. Your task is to use your robot to collect the anti-venom from the pharmacy and deliver it to the person who was bitten by a snake near the forest area. If the anti-venom cube is completely inside the drop point, you get full score. If the anti-venom cube is only partially inside the drop point, it's a half score. Challenge 6 Vaccination Reverest Island is running a public health campaign to vaccinate every child against polio, protecting both individual and entire community. Your task is to use your robot to collect the vaccine from the pharmacy and deliver it to the residential area. If the vaccine cube is completely inside the drop point, you get full score. 
If the vaccin tube is only partially inside the drop point, it's a half score. Challenge 7. Identify the blood using AI and ML. An accident victim on Reverus Island has been rushed to the hospital and urgently needs a blood transfusion. To save the patient, his blood group must be identified quickly to source the correct blood from the blood bank. Time is critical and accuracy is essential to save the victim's life. For junior and senior teams, the judge will toss a coin and select Blood Report A or Blood Report B cube and place it at the pickup point. For elementary teams, the judge will toss a coin and select the Blood Report 1 or Blood Report 2 cube and place it at the pickup point. Your task is to collect the report from the hospital and scan it at the camera to find out the blood group and collect the appropriate blood from the blood bank and return it to the hospital. If the respective cube is fully in the respective drop point, you get full score. If the respective cube is partially out of the respective drop point, you get half score. If the robot took the incorrect blood bag cube, no score. Challenge 8. Test the water. To ensure safe drinking water on Reverence Island, water samples from residential areas must be tested in the lab to detect contamination and prevent disease outbreaks. Your task is to collect all four water samples from the residential area and deliver them to the water testing lab to check if the water is safe for use. If the water cube is completely inside the drop point, you get full score. If the water cube is partially inside the drop point, you get half score. Note that each samples will be scored individually in a challenge. Note, judgment will be based on the cube faces only. The ring on the water cube will be ignored while judging. Participants are required to complete as many challenges as possible within the time limit. The timer will not be paused once the game starts and unfinished tasks will not be awarded points once the time expires. Home point. There will be two home points in the arena. The team may start the game from either home point. Teams are only permitted to handle the robot and game objects only when the robot is within the highlighted area of home point. Otherwise, it will count as a foul. Object held by the robot is considered as part of the robot. Teams may teleport the robot from one home point to another along with the game objects. Any objects unloaded at a home point will remain out of the arena until reloaded. Objects can be reloaded from either home point. Fouls The team will lose 5 points on each foul. In manual mode, teams can access their connected device but not the robot itself. If a team member touches the robot, it will result in a foul. Case 1 at any instance, if the team wants to touch the robot, the team must prompt the judge for the same and one foul will be called. The team must place the robot back to the last junction that it has crossed in the arena. In case the robot is in contact with quirky cube or small cube or unique mechanisms or objects, the cube has to be given to the judge or volunteer to reset the game object in the arena. The unique mechanisms or object must not be touched by the team. The game object reset to their original position as per the arena setup by the judge or volunteer. Any score previously gained from those objects will also be reset. A deliberate touch to any game object when the robot is not in contact with any object except at home points will be considered as a foul. The activity score related to those objects will not be counted. Case 2. If the robot leaves the track completely, one foul will be called. The robot must be moved back to the last junction that it crossed on the arena. In autonomous mode, touching either the robot or the controlling device will result in a foul. The team must place the robot back to the last junction that it has crossed in the arena. Case 1. If the team wants to touch the robot or the connected device, the team must prompt the judge for the same and one foul will be called. Team must move the robot back to the last junction that it has crossed in the arena. Execute the code to either re-attempt this challenge or another one. In case the quirky cube or small cubes of that challenge is held by the robot, the cube has to be given to the judge or volunteer to reset the game objects in the arena. The unique mechanisms or objects must not be touched by the team. The game object reset to their original position as per the arena setup by the judge or volunteer. Any score previously gained from those objects will also be reset. Case 2 If the robot leaves the track completely, one foul will be called. 
team must move back the robot to last junction that it has crossed in the arena. Additional foul will not be counted for hand touch. Execute the code to either re-attempt this challenge or another one. Mode switch card. Before the tournament round, each team will get two mode switch card. The mode switch card enables team to change their robot's operational mode between autonomous and manual control. Make sure to submit photos, videos and detailed information about the robot on the Codeva 7.0 submission portal as per the participation and submission guidelines. Non-adherence to them will result in team disqualification. Remember to read the robot game rulebook and check for any updates during the season. Good luck!